The programmer, like the poet, works only slightly removed from pure thought stuff. He builds, she builds, her castles in the air, from air, creating by exertion of her imagination. Few media of creation are so flexible, so easy to polish and rework, so readily capable of realizing grand conceptual structures. I wish I had said that, but I didn't. That's a famous computer scientist named Frederick Brooks. What is code? Code is many different things. Code is all around us. Code powers most of the modern world. Code is solving problems. Every day you are aided and abetted by all sorts of different pieces of programming that are happening all around you that you're not even aware of. Every website that you visit, every appliance that you interact with, pretty much everything that you touch today has a little bit of a computer inside of it. At the same time, code is also causing all sorts of problems for us, right? Think about all the issues that we're having with, you know, uh, online. I'll just say it that. I mean, you can use your imagination and connect the dots there. There's all sorts of different things that, um, you know, code is also causing a problem. So in some ways, code is our modern existence. Um, but when we talk about programming, typically we're talking about speaking a certain language, uh, expressing ourselves in a particular way so that a computer can understand. But code is also text, as Rodney, or sorry, as Frederick Brooks points out. Um, programmers are like poets. We work with text. We craft stuff that at the end of the day, you might even think is beautiful. So let me show you, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a great website uh, called Rosetta Code. Uh, I want to show you uh, that website. So uh, before I talked a little bit about how Hello World is such, a, such an incredible example of a program because it exists in, in pretty much every language. So Rosetta Code, if you're not familiar with this website, essentially collects different examples of how to solve problems in different programming languages. And here is the list of all the different languages that it has uh, Hello World examples for, right? And you can see there are, let's see, they're actually numbered. Okay, 466 different programming languages, including Java. Let's find Java on this list. We can just make sure that we, uh, we programmed Hello World correctly. And yeah, we did. This stuff we'll get to later, but um, you know, the guts of it, which is this line right here, we got it, right? And but you can you might want to sort of go navigate to the site and go through all the different um, ways, all these different programming languages. Some of you that think that you've been programming for a while have probably never heard of many of these. I've never heard of many of these. Um, these are all these different ways that humans have come up uh, with to communicate with computers. And all of them have this poetry, this beauty to them. Uh, it's something that you'll start to see after you spend a lot of time writing code and start to realize that there are certain times that you've solved a problem that really make you feel good. Um, and there's other times that you've solved a problem and it might work, but you kind of come away with like, eh, you know, what's in the most beautiful thing? Um, so code is text, but it's this poetry that we, you know, whisper into the ear of the computer to try to get it to do our bidding. Uh, most of what we'll be doing this semester is struggling with that, right? Saying the wrong things, getting the wrong response, trying to figure out how to do better. But when you put in enough time and energy, you will get good at this. And when you do, it'll be one of the favorite things that you do. Trust me.